Hello, this is Dr. Kurt Stahora. I'm the Niagara Global Tourism Institute Scholar, and I'm the Director of Research here at the Niagara Global Tourism Institute. We're located within TREC, uh, and we're situated on the international border between Canada and the United States. As is always the case with our tourism shorts, uh, these questions are generated from our viewers, uh, and I'd like to share the question that is going to be the, the focus or the, the guiding principle behind our, our talk today. The question that was raised was, what are some of the employment opportunities for the up-and-coming season, given the unique characteristics associated with COVID? Well, I've had an opportunity to speak with a number of people in the industry, and I, I can share with you five or six points that uh, might be of interest to you. If you are a graduating senior, or if you're owning your own small business, bed and breakfast, tourism related entity, or what have you. Number one, J-1 visas, or the visas that are traditionally given to international students for the purposes of gaining experience here in the United States, those are likely going away. As a result, we'll have a lot of opportunities for American students to gain very, very valuable experience. Now, a lot of those are, are hourly oriented uh, as they're geared towards students, but these hourly opportunities will generate salaried positions uh, as the tourism industry opens up, and it will continue to do so. Number two, the industry is looking for versatile people. What I mean by that is, one day you may be working at the front desk, the second day you might be working in accounting or marketing, but they're also looking for people to uh, work in the rooms division or run events. Uh, so you're gonna wear a lot of different hats, which is a wonderful opportunity, uh, if you ask me, as far as learning the industry as a whole. It's a wonderful foundation. It'll give you an opportunity to figure out which aspects of the profession you enjoy and ultimately, if you hope to lead or manage an organization in its entirety, knowing how all the pieces fit together is essential. Number three, the timing is very good. As suggested, there are going to be some opportunities this summer, and as things continue to open up, um, there will be additional opportunities. Now, this comes with a little bit of a, a caveat I think there are gonna be some parts of our country that are going to open sooner than others. Uh, they will likely be tourism oriented. And some of the places that may open up a little later, and when I say open up, I mean in the traditional sense, uh, may be in larger cities. So if you're open to moving within an organization or going where the seasonality takes you, this will be something that will work to your advantage. Number four, Hands-on, as suggested before, I think there are going to be some instances where you'll be wearing a suit and tie one day and rolling up your sleeves the next. But I see this as an advantage and an opportunity for you to see the, the industry from the as an entity and, and once again, how the pieces fit together. Five, because of the unique nature of this season coming up, I think this is going to provide people an opportunity to move up quickly, particularly if they are open to moving when the opportunities present themselves elsewhere. As suggested before, places like Palm Springs or Myrtle Beach or the Florida Keys are likely to provide opportunities as their, um, as their seasonality allows them to weather storms, metaphorically speaking, uh, a little differently than other places. If the ultimate goal is to go to a large city, like in New York or uh, in LA, that may take a little while, but if you were to work your way into a system, that would eventually unveil itself to you as an opportunity. And then finally, I think there is going to be a lot of sub-training or specific training as it relates to sanitation and safety and other things that, that come up as needed. Uh, once again, you're going to be wearing lots of hats and you're going to get certifications or 
unique learning experiences as a result. All in all, what looks to be a, a difficult time may actually work out to the advantage of the recent graduates and those looking to venture into the exciting hospitality and tourism field. There's never been a, a better time out of necessity to see the industry and all that it entails from a variety of different vantage points and uh, give you a kind of a 360 view. I hope you found this information interesting and we look forward to seeing you again on our tourism shorts. Thank you so much.